largest single day jump in county for COVID-19 cases. UW Green Bay announces leadership changes. Shots fired at Spear Fishermen. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS TV news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, May 7th, 2020. An update as of Wednesday afternoon states that Sheboygan County took a hit in the last 24 hours from the coronavirus. With six additional positive test results since Tuesday, that is a total of 82 persons tested. This represents the largest increase in positive test returns so far recorded, around 10%, while testing an overall increase by about one-third. Two of the 18 active cases are hospitalized, while recoveries still remain at 45. The county positive test rate is overall 4.9%, and statewide, some 4,194 persons were tested in the last 24 hours, and a new high mark, high among the results of 3,859 negative and 335 positive, was the percentage of positive rates. The 8% recorded since yesterday continues to the downward trend needed to trigger the Badger Bounce Back program to reopen the state from a lockdown. 362 COVID-19 Wisconsinites have died and another nine since yesterday with a total of 8,901 state cases have been confirmed so far and testing capacity in the state has reached nearly 14,800 per day. Following the earlier Sunny Ridge outbreak and now along with the most recently reported outbreak connected to the unnamed assisted living facility in Sheboygan County, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services announced today that it will begin releasing detailed information regarding local facility, wide investigations, and this will be included on the, in the daily reports beginning on today. Starting on Friday and Wisconsin DHS will expand on the information and will be releasing names of skilled nurses and nursing facilities that have had faculty-wide investigations in their county. When the pandemic began, many planned healthcare procedures stopped at hospitals and clinics everywhere. But now Prevea Health and Hospital Sister Health System Hospitals in Wisconsin are resuming some non-COVID-19 related services and procedures that were shattered in early March. Prevea Health patients who were notified their procedures are being delayed and who are now able to receive their procedure will be contacted by their health care provider, and that has been made possible by placing carefully designed infection prevention protocols, according to the Purveya president and CEO, Dr. Ashok Rai, who assured that the facilities, including Sheboygan St. Nicholas Hospital, are safe and prepared. The CEO of Sheboygan's UW Green Bay campus, Jamie Schramm, will be adding the Manitowoc campus to his leadership role as the university makes changes in its officers. Schramm has served as the campus executive officer for Sheboygan since December of 2019. His appointment to oversee the Manitowoc campus, as well as Rachel Beckett, who, who took the role of an executive director of administrations for the university beginning May 11th on Monday. Bakic, who joined the university two years ago and served as a CEO in Manitowoc, will oversee recruitment, marketing, and admission policies and promotions 
and be involved with budget oversight and development for both long and short term purposes. A man is under arrest for firing shots at a group of spearmen fishermen in Little St. Germain Lake in Villas County and the spear fishers from the Ojibwa tribe said they were harassed on Saturday night before they even were fired upon. The Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission has a suspect in custody and Vita, Vila's County Sheriff's deputies say the person is being held on preliminary charge of being in possession of a firearm while intoxicated. But no further information about this arrest has been made to the public. The Ojibwa have hunting and fishing rights throughout the north, northern Wisconsin under treaties that date back to the 1800s. There have been long-running disputes between the tribe and other fishermen, which have sometimes included violent clashes. The final report on the helicopter crash um, in Hazelworth of, in April of 2018 blames the crash on a loss of control in flight, not mechanical problems. The National Transportation Safety Board issued the report about the pile and two, the pilot and two emergency medical services. Crew members died in the crash. Rico Caruso of Hazelworth, 43-year-old Gregory Rosenthal of Masani, and 30-year-old Clint Mitchell of Watersmere, Michigan. No mechanical problems were found with the helicopter, and the NTSB said that the report flames in crash and loss of control in flight. The report indicates the pilot was non-responsive as crews came before the crash, the toxicology came back clean. The crew was headed to Howard Tower Medical Center in Woodruff from Madison. And finally, Democrats will still plan on holding an in-person convention in Milwaukee. Democratic National Committee Chair Tom Perez said Wisconsin during a teleconference with the discussion of the Affordable Care Act the organizers are going to be put on convention that is safe, exciting, and Wisconsin-y. COVID-19 concerns have pushed the convention from July 13th to 16th to the week of, of August 17th. Presumptive nominee Joe Biden had said last month that he, that he, thorough a, he went through a virtual convention that was more likely and that may have not been feasible to have so many people in the place. About half of Wisconsinites, nearly 9,000 COVID-19 cases are in Milwaukee's hospital. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.